everyone. My name is Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today I have a what sold video for you for items that sold the week of June 6th through 12th, 2021. But first, before I get started, I would like to say happy Father's Day to all of the fathers out there. I hope you are having the best day. And if my dad is watching, I want to say happy Father's Day to him. I'll pop up a picture of him and thank you for being the absolute best dad in the world. Actually, right after I film this, we are going to get on the road to go visit my dad. And so I'm excited to get to see him. I also wanted to mention that I am so close to 1,000 subscribers. And a few of you have noticed that and cheered me on and <laughs> congratulated me for almost being there. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. That is so nice that you even noticed that and say something to me. So thank you very much. And if you are not subscribed, that would be awesome if you decide to subscribe and there's a subscribe button down below and if you hit the notification bell it will let you know when i release new videos and i am just eight away and coincidentally it is actually my birthday today too so i thought wouldn't that be neat if i hit the 1000 mark on my birthday that would be like the best <laughs> birthday present and so i just want to thank all of you that have subscribed up to this point also so thank you you guys are the absolute best and when i do hit that 1000 mark i'm going to have a giveaway so i'm not going to put in the title uh giveaway i want the giveaway to actually go to the people that are watching this and not people that are just searching the word giveaway so it is going to be my reseller story and one viewer laura that has been watching since almost the very beginning and always comments and is just so wonderful she suggested a couple weeks ago that she would be interested in hearing my reseller story and I thought wow that would be neat to share and that would be a perfect thing to share when I get to 1,000 subscribers so as soon as I hit 1,000 subscribers I will create that video if you would like to enter that giveaway it will be a pretty good one and I will have my reseller story out probably later this week and I might put 1,000 thank you but I'm not going to put the words giveaway in it so be sure you watch that and enter to win so we will now get started. Oh, I am going to share, usually I share 20, but I'm only going to share 15 this week because I'm really trying to get this out today because I was in Arizona last week and I filmed a portion of it. So you'll notice a change in backgrounds, the eBay portion I've already filmed and edited and I did that in Arizona. So I wanna finish up the Poshmark and Mercari and get this out today if possible. So I'm doing 15 items that sold June 6th through 12th, 2021. I sold a total of 34 items for a gross amount of $1,346.22. And as always, if you wanna see all of my numbers, the breakdown from each platform, what, how much was sold, the gross amount, the take home amount, the profit, all of that, then I will have that at the very end. So stay tuned if you would like to see that. And so now we will get started. I am going to insert the portion that I recorded in Arizona. We were in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I had no idea that the desert could be that beautiful. It was a really nice time. We will jump to my eBay portion. I sold a total of seven items for a gross amount of $691.22 this week. And the first item that I'd like to share with you is, was a cute little gravy boat. And I found it in Goodwill. I looked it up and, because it looked kind of unique and the pattern was neat. And so the comps looked great. And then I got it home and there was a chip in it. But I thought there was enough value in it to still list it and just disclose that there was a chip. So it took four months to sell and it sold for a gross amount of $27.49. My earnings were $13.33. I paid $2.29 and my profit was $10.34. Then the next one was a really good one. I purchased 
five of these free people long aspen leather coats with the shearling lining they were just absolutely beautiful i purchased them a year ago and for five of them i spent one thousand twenty dollars so that was two hundred and four dollars per coat and this was the last one that finally sold in june and it went international through the global shipping program if you're not doing global shipping on ebay i have a video about it i'll pop it up and it is so easy to ship internationally and it opens up so much more of the world that you can sell to this one sold for the very lowest amount. I decided since it's summer, I've sold all of them for one. I decided to let it go for low. So they've sold anywhere between $515 and $800. My earnings on this specific one was $427.27. I paid $204. And I bought it from Fox Liquidation. And if you haven't used them, they are a wonderful company. I'll pop up my discount code. So my profit on this one was $223.27. But in all, I spent $1,020. I got back $2,763. So my profit on those five items was $1,743. So I am really happy with that. <laughs> then the next one was another item from Fox Liquidation. It was the Free People City of Lights boots and they sold for $83.20. My earnings were $62.36. I paid $33.84 two cents and my profit was twenty eight dollars and fifty four cents and i listed a lot of these free people shoes and boots on both poshmark and ebay most of them actually sold on poshmark i found that the free people does better for me on poshmark than ebay but i was really really happy with this sell and then the next one was another free people item it was a top and skirt set and i got multiple quantities of these also However, when I got them in, they were pre-packaged. There was not a hang tag. There was just a barcode on the package. What I do in that case is I still list it as new with tags because it is, and I just say, it does not have the traditional hang tag. The barcode information tag is on the packaging. Please see photos for details or something like that. So I've had that happen um, from other places, retail places that I purchase online and get it in with no hang tags. And so it's still new with tags. It's just the tags are on the outside. My earnings were $45.11. I paid $19.18 and my profit was $25.93. And this is another example of an item that I have multiple quantities for, so easy to list, and so much more earning power when you have multiple quantities. The next one, I sold two of these. <laughs> these were the Free People, also from Liquidation, Sydney Crochet Halter Bralette, both size small. One sold for $17.99, one sold for $14.99 plus shipping on each of them. So gross amount, 22.24 and 19.24. And my earnings were 15.99 and 13.09. They cost $5.50 each. And my profit was $10.49 on one, $7.59 on the other. And then the last one on eBay was the Free People Count Me In Trapeze Tunic Top. And I've sold quite a few of these. If you've watched my what sold, this is probably You've seen these before. This one sold for $23.85. My earnings were $17.28. I paid $8.50 and my profit was $8.78. So that was great. I was really happy um, with eBay this week, although it was just seven items. Having that one big item made it a really good week. Next, I sold 26 items on Poshmark for a gross amount of $579. The first one was from my trip to San Antonio where I went to Goodwill and I got this Talbot's Genuine Goat Suede Skirt. It was so pretty. It was size 14 petite. And for the Talbot's brand, sometimes I've gotten some items that 
are a little bit more plain and they have sat for so long and not gone for as much. But when I saw this skirt and it was beautiful and size 14 is a great size, it was in excellent condition and I thought, I know I can sell that for a good price. And so it sold for $40. My earnings were $30.50. I paid $4.79 at the Goodwill in San Antonio and it took 50 to six days to sell. My profit was $25.71. And I've had a lot of travel in the last couple weeks and an offer came in on that one. And I guess I did not check my Poshmark for more than 24 hours and so it had expired. So I messaged back and forth and, and when that happens, I just say, I'm so sorry, I missed your offer. I will send another one back to you with discounted shipping, which will end up being a little bit less than what you offered me. If you would like to purchase it, I would love to have your business or something like that. And so she accepted and that was a great sell. Then the next one was from the Goodwill Outlet or Bins. This was the Alex Marie Linen Chambray Faux Wrap Dress in size six and it sold for $25. My earnings were $17.54. I got this for 89 cents at the Goodwill outlet, which this was, I showed it on one of my Goodwill bins hauls. It took 48 days to sell and my profit was $16.65, which I think it still just amazes me. As many items as I sell every single time, I am still like, wow, oh my gosh, that is amazing that I can take 89 cents and sell something and make $16.65. So I just, I love my job. <laughs> then the next one is the Lane Bryant Tighter Tummy Bermuda Shorts in size 26. And I found Lane Bryant sells really well for me. So I normally pick it up. If I find it, always research your comps and things can always change. Things can become oversaturated, but so far I've had great luck with it. It sold for $22. My earnings were $15.14. I paid $4.24 at my regular local Goodwill, and it takes six months to sell. So it's June, I listed it in the middle of winter because I can find a lot of shorts in winter that are good. So I pick them up, list them then, and that way they're ready to go when summer gets here. And right now, if I find great coats and jackets at Goodwill, a lot of times they're not picked over, so I can find some of my best items in the summer that will go in the winter, and then they're ready to go when people start shopping for them. My profit was $10.90. Then the next one, I put this one in there. It was a bundle of three items and one of them was a lot that I put together. And if you've been watching for long, you've heard over and over about my great swimsuit deal. Well, in this deal, I had several items that needed repair and I am not great with sewing and it takes a long time. So I decided what I would do was put them in a bundle and of seven and just put on there that these swimsuits are brand new, but each of them need a little bit of repair. And then I try to show pictures of what the repair was that they needed and um, offered them at a really good price for someone that wanted to put that work into it and if they knew how, and then they could make a profit on the item. So I thought that was a much better idea than just throwing them away or re-donating them where who knows if they would even get sell again. So on that, I didn't care if I made a penny. I was just hoping to find someone that could benefit from them. So when somebody bundled two of my Intimately Free People items and that, I thought, oh, I'm going to give them a great deal because I just want to find a home for them. So I sent an offer to them for $35. The Free People items that I had were a cost of $9.80. The swimsuits were 66 cents each, so that was $4.62. So my total cost of goods was $14.42. My earnings ended up being $26.50, and so I only profited $11.58, but I still made a profit. I got the money back on those swimsuits, the money back on the free people items, and I still made a profit. So I was really happy with that one. The next one was a Caribbean silk blend Hawaiian shirt. And a lot of times on those type of shirts, I put a lot of things like 
beach, aloha, Hawaii as keywords because people can search with those type of words. And I had had this listed for a couple years. I talked about a great deal that I got from Dillard's for $4.99 a shirt, but it was a huge rounder. They gave me that deal if I would take all of them. And that along with liquidation, sometimes you can get a good deal at a low price if you take everything. And so the important thing to do is look at it and, and realize that some of them might take a long time to move. Some of them might sell for lower, but if you research and realize that there are some that are going to sell really fast for high amounts, and does that make up for those that are going to take longer and maybe sell for low amounts? And it definitely did because I had my money made back in just a matter of days. A lot of things sold for great prices, high amounts, and then some of these just have taken a couple years, but that is okay. That was part of my reasoning to accept that offer it ended up being overall a really great deal and this shirt I had listed for a long time so I went ahead and took a picture of it removed the background because back then I wasn't removing the background so I wanted it to have a nice clean white background and relist it as a fresh listing I did that it sold in 13 days for $28 my earnings were $22.40. I paid $4.99 at Dillard's department store and my profit was $17.41. Then the next one was a Shade and Shore black bikini top. It sold for $14. My earnings were $8.59. I paid just 66 cents on my great swimsuit deal and my profit was $7.93. And on this one, I wanted to share this because I had sent out an offer and this happens quite a bit. I will send out an offer and then someone will send a message and say, I missed your offer, can you resend it? But Poshmark won't let you resend the same offer. So what I often do is I say, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't send the exact same offer to you if you send one back to me as a counter for $2 less, then that will be almost the equivalent amount and I will accept your offer. Um, but on this one, I instead I told her that I could not, but I will send you an even better deal and so I went ahead and sent her a better deal she accepted I made the sale and profited seven dollars and ninety three cents and that just made me really happy because it, it sounded like it made her happy too then the last one that I'm going to share on Poshmark today was a new with tags Dockers signature khakis straight fit tan and these were brand new with tags and they sold for $19 my earnings were $12.74. They cost $1 and my profit was $11.74. They did take seven and a half months to sell, but I have found Dockers have done well for me. They just sometimes take just a little bit of time and I am good with seven and a half months to turn $1 into $12.74. I think that's excellent and I got great feedback on it or love note as Poshmark calls it. They said something about fast shipping, that they loved the slacks and they were as described great posture. So that made me really happy. Then we will move to Macari. I only have one sell on Macari, but it was an excellent one. It was a pair of Tory Burt shoes from my Thread Up shoe unboxing. And this was the black pair that was, um, they were wedges and they were so cute. They sold for $76 and on the video where I was unboxing it, I said that I would list them for $85 and accept $65. So it was right in the middle of that $76. My earnings were $55.44. I paid $6.32 and they only took three days to sell. And my profit was $49.12. And so far, on that, I have two thread up shoe boxes. On this box, this was the second one, I have made back $101.44. I paid $94.84. So I've only sold two pairs of shoes so far on that box and already in the profit $6.60. And I listed those right before I went on vacation. So they haven't been really available to sell much time at all. So now that I'm back home and have a week at home, we'll see if some more of them sell. 
So that is everything that I am sharing from this week. I did a few less. I did 15 this week instead of 20 because I really want to get this video finished and edited so that I can send it out. And um, so my overall numbers were 34 items. I had gross sales of $1,346.22. I got back after fees, postage, anything that was taken out, $1,086.20. My cost of goods was $458.23. I had no refunds again this week. This is going like three weeks in a row with no refunds, which is awesome. And my profit was $677.09, which puts it right at 50.29% of my gross sales. So I like that. If I am taking home 50% of my gross sales, I think that's really good. Then on Poshmark, 26 items for $579. After fees and cost of goods, I ended up profiting $295.03 on that platform. On eBay, just seven items, and my profit on that platform was $332.94. And on um, Mercari, I just went over that, $49.12. And so I will have all the numbers up on one side, so if you wanna look at them more closely, you can always pause it and look at them. And so I am very happy with this week. I will have another What Sold video come out on Wednesday, and that will be from my week on um, vacation. So it will probably be a little bit short, but I still had sales because I was home for two of those days. And in that video, I will announce the winner from my Goodwill haul giveaway. So if you haven't watched that yet to enter, enter by Monday at 9 a.m. Central Time. That's when I'm going to pick the winner and it will be announced on the Wednesday, the 23rd What Sold video. So thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.